During his Monday afternoon COVID-19 briefing, Governor Andy Bashir pointed to signs that the latest surge of the virus may be leveling off or even beginning to fall. Cases have fallen over the past two weeks, although last week's drop was discounted because it was believed to be due to the Labor Day holiday. But now, hospitalizations are showing a slight drop, while ICU admissions are mostly holding steady. And the state's positivity rate is now just above 12%, down from nearly 14% last week. But while the governor says he is hopeful the state is beginning to turn the corner on the latest surge, he said that cases need to drop significantly more to move the state out of the danger zone. Uh, so while we hope that this is a trend and or a plateau, we cannot sustain a plateau at this level with the number of people it would put in the hospital. It's simply too many uh, cases. Those glimmers of hope come the same day Bashir reported 88 new deaths from over the weekend, bringing the total in Kentucky to 8,339. The governor also noted there is a chance for more trouble as one effective treatment, monoclonal antibodies, begins to be rationed due to short supply. Last week, we gave out over 5,000 uh, monoclonal antibody treatments. And as you remember, that number has gone up significantly week over week. We'd be doing 5,500 or more this next week. Um, we're only going to receive 4,960 this week, and it's going to go down from there. Um, we were able to allocate them to 79 sites around Kentucky, and those were based on back-ordered requests, reported on-hand inventory. So if you had enough to get through the week, we were sending it elsewhere, and reported previous week utilization. The governor also reported that more than 104,000 Kentuckians tested positive for the virus during the month of August, the most of any month since the pandemic began.